President Obama came to Iowa City to sell health care reform to skeptical Americans, but it sounded a lot more like a victory celebration. Yes, we did. This is the same college town where candidate Obama first proposed a health care overhaul nearly three years ago. As president, I will sign a universal health care plan into law by the end of my first term in office. What he was pitching then... No one will be turned away because of a pre-existing condition or illness. ...was in many ways similar to what he's selling now. Parents whose children have a pre-existing condition will finally be able to purchase the coverage they need. But there are also key differences. Then he opposed requiring Americans to buy insurance. But now that mandate is law, just one provision that has angry Republicans uh, calling for the new law to be down. repealed. Uh, the ink isn't uh, even dry. Uh, and there's a grassroots revolt. Some of those grassroots critics protested outside today's event. Oh. Your taxes will have sky high in the next five years, and you will okay. not get better health care. That's all there is to it. While inside, the president poked fun at critics who said passage of the bill would bring on Armageddon. Turned out it was a nice day. Birds were chirping. The president was also in a playful mood at a local bookstore where he picked up books highly critical of him by Republicans Karl Rove and Mitt Romney. What do you think, guys? Uh, or not. <laughs> Apparently an easy decision. No sale. As for that unexpected development that the reconciliation bill was sent back to the House for one final vote tonight, the White House says it's just a technicality. They expect it to be dealt with very quickly. Maggie. All right, Chip Reed. Thanks, Chip.